In this video, we will learn how we can delete a node from the beginning of a linked list and from the end of a linked list, taking this as the basic structure of our node. So let's take an example to understand how we will delete a node from the beginning of the linked list. Suppose this is the linked list given to us and we are required to delete the first node that is the node containing value 1. For this, we will first take a pointer ptr and we will equate it to head. This pointer ptr is now pointing to the node containing value 1 and we will use this pointer ptr to delete this first node. But before we do that, we need to adjust a few things. That is, if we delete this first node, then the second node would be the starting of our linked list and we need to point our head pointer accordingly to the second node. To do this, we will make the head pointer equal to the link part of the first node. So now the head pointer contains value 100, which is the address of the second node, which means it is pointing to the second node. And now we can move forward with our delete operation using the pointer ptr. Thus, we will delete this node by simply writing free ptr, which would simply delete this node from the memory. And we have successfully deleted a node from the beginning of our linked list. Now let's implement this using C++. This is the basic structure of our node. Then we start our function to delete the node from the beginning. But before we move forward, we need to take care of one condition that is, if the linked list is empty, that is, head is equal to null, then we simply print that the list is empty and we cannot delete any node from it. But if the list is not empty, we will create our pointer ptr and we will equate it to head, that is the first node in our linked list. And next we adjust our head pointer to point to the second node which would now be the starting of our linked list by equating the head pointer to the link part of the first node. And finally we free the memory allocated to the first node. Thus we have successfully deleted the first node from our linked list. Now let's see how we can delete a node from the end of our linked list. Suppose this is the linked list given to us and we have to delete its last node that is the node containing value 3. To delete this node, we have to do two things. Firstly, we need to traverse to the last node. And second, we have to make the link part of its previous node, that is the second last node, as null. For this purpose, we take two pointers, ptr and priv. We use the priv pointer to keep track of the previous node to the pointer ptr. So firstly, we equate ptr to head, thus ptr is now pointing to the first node in our linked list. Now we start traversing our linked list using pointer ptr and we keep track of its previous node using the priv pointer. So firstly we equate the priv pointer to ptr and then we move the pointer ptr to the next node. And we repeat this process until our pointer ptr reaches a node whose link part is null. So let's implement this. Firstly we equate priv to ptr, then we move our pointer ptr to the next node. Then we again equate pointer priv to ptr and then we again move our pointer ptr to the next node. Now as we see that the link part of this node is null, so we need to stop traversing as we have reached the last node in the linked list. Now using the priv pointer, we make the link part of the second last node as null. And in the final step, we delete the last node by freeing the memory allocated to the node pointed by ptr. Thus, we have successfully deleted the last node in our linked list. Now, let's implement this using C++. We start our delete end function and we declare our two pointers ptr and priv. Now, before we move forward, we need to check if our linked list is empty or not. If our linked list is empty, that is, head is equal to null, we simply print that the list is empty. Now, if we are deleting from the end, we need to check another condition that if our linked list contains only one node, that is, if the link part of the node pointed by head pointer is null, which means that there is only one node in our linked list, and if we delete that node, our linked list would be empty. So what we will do is, we will equate pointer ptr to head, and we will make the head pointer as null, which would denote that the linked list is empty, and finally we will delete the node. And if our linked list contains more than one node, we will follow the same procedure. We will firstly equate our pointer ptr to head to point it to the first element. Then we will start traversing our linked list until we reach the last node whose link part would be null. 
and we will keep track of its previous node using the priv pointer and then we will move the pointer ptr to the next node. Now when we reach the last node, we will make the link part of the second last node as null and in the final step we will delete the last node using the statement free ptr and thus we have successfully deleted the last node from the linked list. This was all for this video. Thank you for watching.